Hey everybody, welcome to another Blu-ray haul. This one is gonna be a big one. And yeah, I did just film my uh, complete Blu-ray collection video for 2018. So these are some things that I added since then. And yeah, I just put it up not too long ago. So this is probably coming up just a little bit after that. And yeah, I've actually picked up quite a few things. Uh, a couple things came out. Some of the things that are on my list, I saw they were uh, cheaper. And uh, sorry for all the external noises. My neighbors are being really loud. And then they're, everyone's heaters are on right now. Mine is not, and that's why my utility bills are always a lot less than everyone else's. It's called good old-fashioned blankets. But anyway, uh, here is some of the Blu-ray that I have just recently picked up, because I know that's what you're here for, not hear me ranting about anything. So the first one I will show you is something I didn't actually see when it came out, and that is Jackie. And I actually really love the slip cover of this thing because it kind of opens up. Uh, that's, which is which is really cool. Um, I've heard really really good things about this. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. And yeah, actually I picked this up uh, used because I saw the slipcover and it's actually in really good condition. So yeah, I really like that and uh, can't wait to see this movie. Um, Natalie Portman does a really fantastic job. Uh, the next two films are two romantic um, kind of comedy slash dramas that I got. I really don't know much about them. Uh, I saw them at my old store that I'm working at still that's kind of closing down. And uh, I just, I was coming over some of the movies and I noticed that these two movies are there. This one was James Gandolfini and uh, uh, Julia Dreyfus, uh, Louis Dreyfus, Dreyfus, uh, whatever her name is from Seinfeld. Um, come on. Uh, so this is a, uh, pretty much a, I know it's a Fox Searchlight Pictures film. It's got good ratings on IMDb, Rotten Tomatoes, and um, Metacritic. And so usually... I read those on top of um, other people. I usually ask around my friends who have seen things like this and they usually recommend it. So enough said, um, looking forward to this. I really enjoy these types of, types of movies. So, And the next one in the same kind of vein is Rachel Getting Married. This is a Sony Pictures classic. Um, we got, um, why can't I think of her name? Anne Hathaway, duh. We got Anne Hathaway in a pretty um, astounding cast with, uh, with her. It's pretty much about her relationship with her family and more or less, I guess, her sister's coming home to get married, and that's pretty much the gist of the thing that I know. I don't really know much about it, so I'm looking forward to this movie. All right, next are two films that I always thought were kind of close together, even though they're not um, at all. And they actually actually came out uh, different years as, two, as well. First being Network. Uh, I really have seen this on the top 200s of pretty much every list of top movies of all time. So it's about time I actually finally caught up on this. This is a 1976 film. Um, really looking forward to this. I really know nothing about it, honestly. But we got Faye Dunaway, William Holden, Peter Finch, and Robert Duvall. So uh, all-star cast. Next is a more newer film. Martin Scorsese in 96 came out with Casino. And this is the two films that for some reason in my head got confused together. Um, but we got Robert De Niro, Sharon Stone, and Joe Pesci. Classic uh, Scorsese kind of cast. Uh, really looking forward to this. I've never actually seen this. I've actually seen most Scorsese films, but I have yet to see Casino. So it's on that list. All right, next. Um, I'm actually in a film theory class right now just for fun. I'm finishing up my grad school um, degree in communication. I teach public speaking. But my favorite class right now is this film theory class, which just is more or less for fun because I'm getting interested in these kind of things. And so one of our weeks we were supposed to watch um, The Searchers, with John, John Ford's The Searchers. And so I've lately been getting really into westerns. And so here's the first one, High Noon with uh, Grace, uh, Grace Kelly and Gary Cooper. Um, this is, I guess, is a harder to find Blu-ray. And so honestly, I'm really excited to get this uh, going and seeing this movie. Uh, this came out in 1952, so. Uh, next is Rio Bravo, which is John Wayne, uh, Dean Martin, and Ricky Nelson. This one came out in 1959. Um, I've heard good things about this as well. Um, just a classic Western. Next is The Treasure of the Sierra, uh, Sierra Madre, starring Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey Bogart is an amazing actor, and I need to see more things that he's in. And this is from 1947, so a little bit older of a Western, but uh, I'm really looking forward to these kind of these kind of things and just kind of discovering this time period of the golden era of uh, cinema. Uh, next is another kind of classic. We're moving that from there to Westerns to the kind of wartime films. And this is 1970s Patton. Uh, I've never seen this movie, but Carl Malden and George C. Scott. Uh, it's about General Patton and um, 
more or less that's pretty much all I know, but I've heard really great things about this. It's been on a lot of lists, so I can't wait to see Patton. Uh, next is another classic film, which came out, uh, which I can't find. I don't know why. Help me out, help me out. This is not good for the thing. Uh, 1970, the Torah, Torah, Torah. Uh, this is about the attack on Pearl Harbor. Um, and actually this cool di kind of digipack book, um, which has all these um, just, uh, if I can even hold it up, uh, film set kind of stuff and histories, uh, what's going on here. And then we also have just the DVD itself um, in a very Japanese kind of style. And so I'm really looking forward to this, this movie and uh, can't wait to see this film. Next, we're going on, on to some modern films. A uh, movie that came out last year, it was under my radar that I didn't know about that. Actually, a couple people have told me that they like, and a couple people have told me that they don't like at all. I don't know why. But I'm interested nonetheless, and that is Black Coat's Daughter. Um, I've heard really good things about this. It's kind of a demonic film, kind of on, along the lines of The Witch. It came out, it's an A24 film, so I'm pretty excited about that. Speaking of A24, they actually just put out a uh, new trailer for a movie, Hereditary, which is the new trailer for one of the horror movies that I, it looks awesome. And I can't wait to see that. Those are the type of movies, the psychological kind of horror movies that uh, really drive uh, a lot of the things that I enjoy in horror. Anyways, moving on from there, two things that actually just recently came out. I want to say today, um, but I finally got them and I actually have done reviews of them on the channel. Um, one of them being Professor Marsden and the Wonder Woman. And I actually really enjoyed this movie. Um, it kind of put me in an odd position the first time I watched it. It's all about polyamory. And uh, if you want to see my thoughts on it, um, I'll put the link in the description below. But it's a very interesting film, and it really kind of challenged my uh, conventions. But it really uh, just tells you about the history of Wonder Woman, um, the creator, and then the actual relationship that this uh, creator... Um, Professor Marsden had with these two women, his wife and another uh, young student. And so it's just a really crazy story and it's actually kind of real that no one really talks about. So finally we, we got this. It was a good movie. I definitely uh, enjoyed that. Next is, speaking of A24 and psychological horror movies, this movie um, was crazy, um, but I loved it. Killing of a Sacred Deer. This movie is definitely very polarizing. It's a, it's a film that I really like. Yorgos uh, Lathamos uh, directed this one. Uh, he did The Lobster, which I really loved. Really nice black comedy, kind of dark. It's definitely a ridiculous concept. And then Dogtooth, which I have yet to see. But uh, Killing of a Sacred Deer, I really love this movie. Uh, this actor, um, and on top of Colin Farrell and Nicole Kidman, this actor's name is... I can't think of his name. Barry uh, Keoghan, I want to say. Uh, just blew it out of the water. I thought his performance was insane. This reminded me a lot of The Shining. I love this movie. So there you go. There you have it. There are the movies that I got recently. I'm very excited to get some of these old classics involved with some newer newer blood and some uh, other great things. So um, give me your thoughts down below on some of these thoughts. Have you seen any of these movies? Uh, which one of these movies do you like? Which ones should I check out? Um, I just keep adding more and more to my collection. But besides that, thank you so much for checking out the Blu-ray haul video and uh, enjoying me rant about things and hearing stupid um, heaters and neighbors and all that stuff. Give me a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I'm not jonesing around.